Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a update about the energies that I've been picking up throughout this full moon in, well, the past few days. So I've had a ton of readings and a lot of people have been experiencing the same things and I thought I would share that with you because, you know, if you've been going through similar things you'll understand what's happening, why it's going on. So this full moon has been super intense and leading up to the full moon I was drawn to um, do a meditation to help clear um, karmic cycles and negative energies, cut off negative people, situations, just get you to forget all that, right? Um, it's still in my list of videos, if you scroll down this list you will see it, it was only posted, was it two days ago possibly? And I've had such good feedback on that, not only from clients but family members and just people watching my channel who haven't had a reading but just thought um, they would watch it and then they gave me some feedback and they said it was awesome. Um, the family members who've tried it have said to me that they were basically finally free from these haunting thoughts that just really hurt their soul, you know. They, they would try to not think about it anymore but then suddenly be like, surprise, I'm here, and it would just give them such anxiety. And they said that after they did the meditation, they were able to just let it go and be free from it finally, once and for all. And I'm so happy to hear that because the last thing I want is my family to feel distressed and, you know, really anxious about a situation. I've also had really positive feedback from clients. People said how beautiful it was and, oh, it's so good to hear um, such wonderful feedback. So if you're interested, please go and do that. I think that the full moon is a perfect time to do it but if you happen to catch this video later then don't worry about it you can do that meditation at any time um, the other thing is that a lot of uh, readings I've done over the past few days have been about people feeling disconnected from what their old situation is like they no longer feel that they are in the same energy, but it's good. Um, some even commented to say that they feel more disconnected from their twin flame situation. Um, not in a bad way, not that they have resentment or anger towards them, but just they're a bit like, meh, whatever. Que sera, sera. If, you know, if you want to come to me, then great. If you don't, well, you know, so be it. <laughs> so um, they asked me during the reading, is that bad? I said, no, it's not bad. It's an energetic reset, basically. You're putting yourself in the position that you were in when you were at your peak before you met your beloved. And we sometimes forget what that feels like. So I feel that this full moon gives us the perfect opportunity to reset and take back our power and have just the perfect energy for creation. Because that's what I feel as well. The whole point of this full moon is to help you fast track, get your manifestations, line them up, you know, and get them just showing up one after the other. And in order for you to do that, you must let go of the past because the past is the past, now is now. And you have to really be in the present to be able to do so. And what better way to be present than to reset and uncreate a ton of stuff that just wasn't good for you anymore. So I feel positive. I feel this is a good full moon. I feel yesterday I felt still quite exhausted and drained. But now, today, I am feeling a lot more balanced, a lot more happy, a lot more able to manifest, you know, the little things I ask for and they show up within the hour. I'm like, wow, thank you, universe. You are awesome. So, yeah, I feel good. And I hope that you are feeling that too. Finally, didn't wake up spluttering and coughing my, you know... My, my sore throat's kind of cleared up now, thank goodness, because it took forever. It was like a four-week thing. Oh, I, it was awful to just be ill for four weeks, but now I feel I am completely just on the mend and nothing can stop me. I am full of energy and happy and so just wanted to share with you, you know, the kind of energies that are going on 
do take advantage of this time to reset your um, frequency and get you in alignment with what it is you're wanting. Because that's the whole point. We've come here to spread love. What better way to spread love is through loving ourselves first. That was the main theme. You know, people feel disconnected from the twin flame situation, but it is to take back your power, recharge yourself, you know, empower yourself, love yourself, value yourself first and foremost. It's all about self-worth and self-love. If you don't have that for yourself, then how in the world are you going to give it to anyone else? So that's what it's about. Love yourself, honor yourself, do something good for yourself. I baked a nice cake for myself today because that's the type of life I want to have. I want to be able to bake cakes whenever I want it and have a nice cup of tea and feel just happy. And that's what I would advise for you to do. Do something that you would do if you had your dream life. Within reason, of course. I mean, I could go out and buy a Lamborghini, but <laughs> not right now. Anyway... I hope that this has helped you. If you'd like to connect with me, have your own personal reading, then all my details are in the description. I'm still doing a January sale. Prices are going to change in February. So if you do want to take advantage, stock, stock up on readings if you want to as well. Because if you've purchased it, you can use it at a later date. So I thank you also very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.